Suction mount can go away now. Check this out. Oh my gosh, the bank stealth pod mount. That is a pre-production unit. These will be available within the next couple weeks. Yes, I did say within the next couple weeks. And the cool thing is these will fit the 24, 2500 and 3500s, as well as the refresh models, which is what this is in. This is a 23 truck. Now this will fit the 22 and a half, 23. And if you're wondering, well, is it gonna come in black? What's the color? Cause my interior is not black. High country interior is black. I know others is uh, like a gray. So Banks has a paint kit available to paint these to match your interior. You just gotta find the right kit, paint it up. Now, why I like this so much, let me close this door. Look at that line of sight that I now have. That just cleaned up everything. So before I had the suction mount and that would sit like that right there, actually just like that. And that would block, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it does. And when I remove this mount, that's when you notice, oh my gosh, it's so much cleaner now. Look, no more wires. This, the install is really not that difficult. It's just you got to take off this pillar. And the pillar is held on. There's two covers right here. You pop off those covers. Then there's a 10 millimeter bolt behind here, 10 millimeter bolt behind there. And you just work the cover out because you need to drill a hole in there. And the cool thing is they include the unit bit that you need to drill the hole. So you really don't need anything. In addition to that, the Allen bolt that comes in here to mount this securely, look how firm this is. Actually, you can't tell. Let me get it. Like that, I'm pushing on that pretty good. That is firm. That is mounted on there perfectly well. So they give you an Allen wrench that makes the whole job super easy. It's a ball head Allen wrench. So you could just get in there. I mean, they give you everything you need. And like I said, so you unbolt the pillar, you pull it down. Do not drill it inside the vehicle. Just pull it off. I know that's, that's the first thing that popped in my head and it probably popped in your head. Well, if I'm gonna have to drill, I could just drill right there. Look at all this room. But there's an airbag behind there and you don't wanna mess with that and you don't wanna puncture anything. You don't wanna mess anything up. It only takes like a minute or two to get this pot off or the pillar off. I, I, I did it in no time and it fits back in there, flush and clean, no rattles. Everything is nice, nothing to worry about. And that makes me happy because I'm very picky on my interior. But once this is on there, look at that. That is slick. Again, it's a pre-production unit coming out in a couple weeks for the 22 and a half, 23 Silverados with the refresh screen. We'll also come out for the 24, 2500 and 3500. This is just incredible. Now, if you don't have one of these gauges, this is one of my absolute favorite mods on this. And I recently did a video where I talked about all the mods that I prefer for towing and this was on the list. And for good reason, look at all the gauges that I can display. So just holding this button down, I can switch to a different display. You can go through each one of these pages and just modify how you want them set up. You can monitor anything that you want. And I normally have just one that I set it on, which is this one, because I really like this. It shows the DPF regen percentage, whether or not the regen is on or off, engine coolant temp, def level, because this gauge, this def level gauge is stupid in there, but this one is way more accurate. Engine oil temp, charge air cooler one, charge air cooler two, because I like to see that the uh, charge air cooler is being efficient. And EGT one, that's gonna be right off the turbo. 1400 degrees is gonna be the, the line where you go, oh crap, things are going south. This is gonna tell me, you can set alerts to whenever I get above 1200 degrees, I can have it start flashing at me, um, saying, hey, your temps are getting high if I'm not paying attention. Engine coolant temp and engine oil temp, I have that setting on there so I know because my oil temp gets pretty hot whenever I'm driving this around. This thing does it all. You can clear codes with it. You can data log because I have the data monster version. Uh, diagnostics, it's pretty basic. I mean, it's not, it's, I mean, you don't really need to know very much. If you get a check engine light that pops on there, you come to a stop, check for codes, see what it's all about, find out that it's nothing, or you find out that it is major and um, you stop driving, or you can find out, oh, I can continue driving because it's not so bad. Awesome, huh? So that is awesome. Actually, let's go back. I wanna show the gauge layout. Look at all this. You can fully customize this gauge. 
I mean, anywhere from two to eight, it is it is rad. The gauge selection itself, there are so many to choose from. So what I would do is I just choose one of these. I don't wanna mess up what I have going on on there. But you can go in there and select almost any parameter. And you can put it any position you want. I love this thing. So when you're driving, look, now it's in my perfect line of sight. I don't have any obstructions because it is tucked away. I want the dual though. That dual is gonna be slick because then I can have even more functionality or I can make these larger and then run it on two displays. Oh, the, the uh, potential here is just superb. Very happy about this. This is one of my favorite color combos right there. I like that. You can do anything you want with this. So I also have it set up to my pedal monster. So you can change the level up or down right there. Right now I'm set on stock because I'm doing some fuel economy stuff and I'm actually killing my fuel economy with my idling, but that's okay. We're not worried about that. And this is awesome. You can reset these to whatever you want to. The I dash is the way to go. This stealth pod mount is sick. This is the way that it should be. Again, this is a pre-production unit. Look how rad that is with the Banks logo right there. Super cool, coming out in a couple weeks. Definitely hop on the list to get one of these if there's currently a list. When they do pop up, I bet you they're gonna sell out. So you better get on there when they go up. These are incredible. Look at the clean. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. That fit and finish is comparable to the factory. Again, pre-production unit. So this isn't even the final unit right here. This is on point. I'm stoked. Thanks, Banks, for keeping us uh, going with all these modifications that we can do to our trucks. More knowledge is power with this. Got a nice press fit in there. Slide this in.